garden's whole thing is innovation, sustainability, and education. So we wanna make sure that anyone that's coming into garden, they know how they can make their production more efficient through using technology. My name is Mark Pilbrasskenner, and I'm the head of virtual production here at Garden Studios. So we've been uh, really lucky that we've worked on a lot of different projects. So we've delivered over 80 different uh, virtual production projects here. One of the biggest things for us is we're a permanent studio. So the fact that we, we're not a pop-up means that as soon as we put the stars on the ceiling and done our initial calibration, uh, we're ready to start shooting almost instantly. Same with this stage, same with our brand new stage we built as well. Uh, we just knew that Moses was the best option. We've got tons of features, it's incredibly stable, and from a new client coming in on a pre-light to us being camera ready, it's about 15-20 minutes. Because of this it means we can then focus our time and effort on other parts of the production. So we can focus on the lighting or optimizing the scene or the camera moves and the set dressing which is really really powerful for our clients. Uh, we want to make sure that VP is never the last apartment to be ready. Uh, recently having set up our new studio the the mapping and the wizards for getting us up is fantastic you know after about 45 minutes we had the system mapped calibrated and on the tracking system um the fact i mentioned before of how sort of simple and accessible all the default menus are and like the lens tweaker and the offsets but the fact you also have the option of then diving into the advanced menus and really dialing in kind of the tracking that you want so something that's really interesting to us is the digital tracking markers. Um, in this stage, what we do is we actually rig the tracking system with a 15 degree tilt back. So what that means is because of the wide angle uh, camera, we can basically see stars at any point in our stage unless we go very far under. And by that point, you shouldn't be that close to the wall anyway. Um, over on our other stage, because obviously it's a lot bigger and a lot more encapsulated, there are more positions where we can't see stars, mainly if we're sort of directly under the ceiling. So having the option of <coughs> swapping out the sensor and putting on the RGB camera and using the digital tracking markers on the ceiling has been really attractive to us to make sure that there's no angles that we can't shoot on this new stage. We're just not worried about Moses. It's never never the issue we think we have any tracking issues. We've done 80 plus productions and we've never had an issue with it.